Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Mask of the Rose. So yeah, last time we got involved in some infernal business, and met the best character of any Fallen London game, even the ones he's not in. <laughs> Good ol' Reginald. The Anyways, let's recall some stuff. The fall, failing to heal. What does that mean? There were days when I couldn't leave my room, and I couldn't also think of anything that had happened, or anything that was going to happen. That's an odd phrasing. At most, I could bring myself to remember the previous day, pulling it into my mind for a single detail. Hand over hand, hour after hour, our work is never over, uh, like hauling up a giant's comforter when it has slipped off the bed. And then, when it's briefly mastered, never managing to tuck it in the corners, so it slips, so off it slips again. I've never actually had that, uh, I haven't actually had that experience with like sheets and such. You know, people talk about like, oh, trying to fit the sheets around the mattress and constantly having that. I don't, I've never really had that issue. The tr uh, well, I usually. Uh, mm. What you want is sheets that are large enough so that you can tuck them underneath the mattress. You know? Well, anyways. Unmarked, forgettable time, which ceased, uh, ceased to be a part of my life as soon as I had lived it. I go about now, and my days are better, but what was wrong has not come right. A wound that does not close as lips do not close when they have something still to say. Alrighty then. Let's see, take the census with Reginald. Sure, I'm always up for spending more time with Reginald. You escaped the devil's lair then. Soul intact, I hope. Let's see. The devils were as interested in my soul as yours. Perhaps they were not interested in yours, but I tell you, they were salivating for mine. As I mentioned back there, I am Reginald Burtwhistle, Canon of Southwark. Seconded to the parish. In order, I assume, to begin making improvement. That's it. Kiddo. As I say, my name is Reginald. That's all you need to know. In the times before, I wouldn't have been so bold as to speak to a stranger. Down here, seems like any human companionship is welcome. I'm afraid the church is a bit pokey. I'm used to Southwark. Dean, deacons, canons, kneeling room only at Evensong. But I expect you're not here to talk about that. They're just that Reginald himself is of more interest. I find you the most interesting feature of the church, as I find you the most interesting feature of anywhere that you happen to be. Ah. Ah, well, I suppose Theophilus leaves a little to be desired. What am I saying? Here's the senior clerk, a cleric here. He has much in the way of wisdom to impart. Southwark Cathedral, the grand old building. I was lucky to be taken on. I am not from a good family, shall we say. <laughs> yes, I've uh, heard of your exploits back when you were remember the young stags. You got up to quite a lot of mischief, so I've heard. And by so I've heard, I mean so I've heard from you in the future. Got into fights at seminary. Not one for sneering behind backs. If you have something to say, you can say it to me in the yard. I might have to take you up on that. Play up my own fierceness. I've taken my share of punches and given out a few too. Yes, you don't like to look like you'd shrink from a fight. Let's try doing this. I don't think I've done this so far. I require ass assistance with the ministry sensor. The truth is essential. I generally meet such challenges with my fists. Um. 
Do you live alone? I grew up in a tenement, if you must know. I was the youngest of seven. The only boy. That lived, that is. The church provided. My mother's comfort and solace. She was overjoyed when I said I wanted to be a priest. Now I have bed, board, and a cadre of brothers. And sisters now, too, I hear. Not that I wish for more. Are you married or otherwise connected? I'm afraid you'll have to get in line. I have a queue of flower arrangers seeking spiritual advice every even song. <laughs> Stand closer to Reginald and ask again. And I thought you were getting to trust me. Reginald hesitates. I'm trusting you. Don't betray it. I suppose I will marry in time. A priest without a wife is at the mercy of, mercy of his parish. My friend Michael, now he has to beat the ladies off with a stick. <laughs> Metaphorically, of course. Too handsome for his own good. Uh, yes, it tends, it tends to be the, the uh, women folk that have to beat ladies off with a stick if you catch my drift. I'm glad he hasn't married, though. A shame for a man to be tied down too early. There's pubs we've not visited in the city still. Adventures not yet had. Ah, uh, what was your question again? Sympathize. Rotten luck. I can only imagine how it must feel. Original makes a few flattering remarks on my better points. Anyway, seems a funny time for courting. Michael had a foolish notion about joining a regiment in the early days. But of course that went down the drain when everything went to hell in a handcart. The army? My calling remains the church. I can't go running off to the army. Living in fear is no life. It was an idle notion. If we'd had more troops when London fell, or well, they'd held up with a dam, I'd have, put, uh, I'd have put more stock in the notion. Alas, they didn't, and neither of us said any more about it. Wish original a good morning. Forgive me. I must contemplate my sins. I shall look forward to hearing more of your stories when you return. The prophet Jonah could not compete. Ah. Uh, he is just a joy to be around. Fit to the shopkeeper's goods for sale. I haven't been using this money so far, besides for paying off debts. Uh, probably take off the... Hi. Hmm. There's something vaguely disquieting about this character. It's like she should be attractive, but she isn't. I can't quite place why. Disquieting. Ah. Call me Ivy. And hiring, increased hiring in the field of vermin elimination. That's an interesting icebreaker. I count the news for story. Parrot's menace eradication is hiring rat eradicators. Oh. Eager eradicators of other beasts are also welcome. I present the whole business in a hilariously sinister light. Some of the beasties you hear tell of must have precious rare pelts, or scales, or what have you. I'd like to see them for myself. It's good to encounter new things, uh, iffy thing to say, especially down in the near. Might be frightening, but there's, there's a chance for us here. Creatures that have lived below for a long time, they'll know more on how to manage. What, what does that even mean? Ivy knows it's not too long, even finishes a few of my sentences for me. Yeah, I'm denying. You missed a spot of color this morning. A man came in with a basket of so-called fish. Mobbed, he was. Sold for ten Guinness each. But they wasn't fish. Cold and wet and slippery, maybe, but not fish. Well, I don't know what they were. I just know what they weren't. Alright. Spectral Leelite. Ah, this is where I can buy new outfits, I guess. Ah, new hat would be nice. What? 
a very uh, fungal. I'll take it, I guess. An exception, uh, exceptionally of the mode piece, trimmed with mushrooms as style currently demands. Interesting. I have the choice to overpay for it. Uh, offer a fair price. Give you two pennies for that stylish top hat with mushrooms. It's a fair price. Alright. And... Indeed, inventive could be it. Yeah. Let's go for it. Don't look like it's worth more. Alright. Should be good. Ah, well, top of room for me. <laughs> this is a bit early, I literally just met her. Oh wow, that shopping shopping trip where I bought two things took an entire section of the uh, entire like third of the day. <laughs> Very ridiculous. Let's see, mushroom top hat. <laughs> Face. I assume this is where the mass will go, considering this is called Mask of the Rose. It looked utterly ridiculous. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't know where the others have got to. They do know when supper is served. Good evening. I'm looking for Archibald. Is he here? Archie? He's upstairs. Listen. Yes? I know all the old maps have been outlawed. But if you've come for his atlas, do you think you could leave it with him? It gives him a lot of comfort remembering all those little villages in Scotland where his family used to live. Yes, leave Archie his maps. He's not doing any harm with them. That isn't why I'm here. Oh. Is it to do with his doctoring? I hope no one's too ill. I know Archie worries, trying to do a physician's work when he didn't finish his training. Does he often treat people? Odd question to ask. What is your angle here, high sheet? They often... Yes. Treats a lot of things. Broken bones, stomach complaints, nightmares. There's even some business with a tainted jar of honey, he said. Archie's has plenty to keep him occupied. He hasn't happened to treat a tall young man that had lost his memory. No one like that. Have you ever known Archie to make mistakes, prescribe the wrong dosages? During his training, Archie made an extensive study of drugs and poisons. He's as good a, as a druggist. The basement is full of his concoctions. May I see them? No, absolutely not. No one can enter the basement but me. Of course, Archie chooses this moment to come down the stairs. Hi, Jeet. I hope you're well. I'm sorry, Archibald. I'm here in the line of duty. It's about David Landau. Did something happen to him? I only saw him today. Shortly after his, your visit, he died by poisoning. Died? The poor man.
Well, that sounds horrible, but this is the NAS. <sighs> May he rest peacefully. I'm sorry to have to bring you this news. Is Rachel alright? Is there anyone with her to protect the house? She said you were the last person to speak with David. That the fatal dose must have come from you. I don't understand. There was an inquest, and the jury found against you. Is he? I'm here to arrest you for murder. What? Wait a... Wait a moment. I knew it was just, ti uh, just time till summit went awry. There's too many folks ill. Can I kill the whole town? Can I ask actually something just for a moment? As long as you stay in sight. You're not alone. We're all on your side. We'll come visit you until you're free. Thank you. Will you be alright in there? I cannot know that, can I? I never been put in prison before now. It's nay how I choose to go if someone asks me. I can tell you that. Ahem. <laughs> This must be a misunderstanding. Archie is dedicated to keeping people alive, and I don't see him having the nerve to hurt anyone. Not on purpose. No one can measure another person's courage just by looking. How is Rachel doing? Does she have anyone with her? There's her housekeeper, Phoebe, and some friends from her community. They're preparing the body for burial. It can't be left unburied very long. Where are they burying him? They mean to take him to a Jewish graveyard at Ball's Pond. Terrible name. Rachel said there might be a dispute with their Spanish relatives, that their mother was buried somewhere else. But she did not think it would change the outcome. Where are you taking Archie? Newgate Prison was destroyed in the fall. For the time being, prisoners are held in the HMS Ungulate. Sounds like a very insalubrious environment. Cold, damp, infested with vermin. And also, you know, rodents. As well as the, the vermin guarding it. Breathing the vapors of the, of the Thames might not be good for the health of the prisoners. You're not talking... You're not talking your way out of that. Way. Uh, not, you're not talking your way out of out that way. No, I mean, if you don't mind, before we set out, I'd like to collect a few doses of this and that. Things that might help to settle bad lungs and prolong coughs. You're asking whether, before we go, you can be allowed to rearrange your collection of drugs and bring some of those drugs with you. I haven't quite how I'd have phrased it. And you stand accused of murdering a man through the use of potent toxin. Oh. For the sake of your future guards and cellmates, I think I must refuse. That's probably fair. Horatia, I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't let out my room to anyone else. We won't. Don't fret. We'll get to the bottom of it. Yeah. But frankly... Uh, frankly, I'd say that the fact that it was so... That, you know, it was like that he died right after he left and, it's, and when he was the last person to visit him seems like evidence that he probably didn't do it. Because if he's really got these, you know, like such knowledge of toxin or whatever, Surely he would have planned it out better so so that it wasn't obvi uh, so obviously pointing towards him that did it. You know? Maybe, uh... It seems entirely plausible that it might have been Rachel that did it. Probably not, though. 
Maybe Phoebe. Or maybe Rachel did it on accident. Or maybe Archie did it on accident. Maybe. I don't know. Shortly, with any luck, we'll be able to get the answers from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Maybe Grizz's high place friends of the Ministry will come in handy. Huh. That's assuming they aren't already involved. There's still dinner on the table, but Horatio doesn't have much of an appetite. So yeah, fi so yeah, after a few episodes, we finally gotten to the point where we decided to get involved in the whole uh, fucking murder mystery. Whoa, tainted drug. Whoa, touch me, baby, tainted drug. Person, Phoebe. I've only just now gotten that. That's suspicious. For a moment after waking, I forget what happened last night. Then it comes back to me. The sight of Archie being taken away. Horatia staring at a plate of uneaten pie. The rest of the evening, strange as it was. And then stumbling back to my own bed. There was no mention of Archie's arrest in the morning's newspaper. Huh. Curious, isn't it? I just really did it. This may be difficult, persuading people to speak with me, figuring out the way through, figuring out the way through the possibilities. I'll have to craft questions, to ask people the way Archie showed me. It might take some doing. Your Archie was framed to stop the exposés, perhaps. He himself would never say this was a coincidence. Never. For the right person in the hands of the law, or I'm concerned even about the killer. Hmm. The law will dispose of the murderer's earthly fate. Those who have done a terrible wrong need other help and other guidance to make matters right with themselves and their community. What? Yes. Hmm. So oh, yeah, here we go. Trying to get into the real meat and potatoes of the game. Which is why I'm going to end the video here. Why? Because fuck you, that's why. Cliffhanger! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have been Joe Bob and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe, if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long, suckers! <laughs>